Putin vs. Sanctions, Russian Central Bank Slashes Interest Rates Russia's central bank slashed its interest rates this week and indicated that borrowing costs could drop even further. The news comes as Western economic sanctions continue to wreak havoc on the Russian economy and supply chains, and the country's leading economists work to stabilize economic conditions. Elvira Nabiolina, the head of the Central Bank of Russia, announced the decision on Friday and took questions for the first time since the Russian invasion of Ukraine began. We are in a zone of colossal uncertainty, she said. We will make decisions on monetary policy taking into account the need to adapt the economy to a radically changing environment, Nabiolina also explained, adding that maintaining price stability remains the bank's main priority. The decision to slash its key interest rate to 14% was unexpected, and economists say that the rate could be dropped even lower in the coming months as Russia tries to control skyrocketing consumer prices. In April, interest rates dropped to 17 percent, after initially being raised to 20 percent only days after Russia announced the special military operation in Ukraine. Today, we see room for a key rate reduction before the end of the year, Nabiolina told journalists on Friday. We will make our further decisions on monetary policy considering that the economy needs to adjust to the dramatically changing conditions. Price stability is always the top priority for us as it is critical for steady economic growth, she added. Sanctions Update Why Russia Raised Then Slashed Rates When the Russian central bank initially raised interest rates from 9.5% to 20% in February, the move was designed to stop Russian citizens from withdrawing their cash from the nation's financial institutions. In an effort to save the ruble, the central bank incentivized Russians to keep their savings in domestic banks and ordered domestic businesses to sell 80% of all their US dollar assets. The latest move would, theoretically, make it easier for Russians to make larger purchases and increase demand for consumer and household goods. However, with continued economic uncertainty and major supply chain problems for most industries in Russia, it's unclear just how much of a positive effect these recent changes will have. Fergus Hodgson, director of the financial consultancy firm Econ Americas, said the decision was an act of desperation as likely an attempt to catalyze spending and borrowing for business activity. It is a short-term Keynesian ploy that might have a marginal effect, Hodgson said. However, it glosses over the deeper problems for the Russian economy. There are many, limited trade, low foreign investment, low regime certainty, low productivity, and a lack of the rule of law. Fiddling with interest rates does nothing to resolve the fundamental shortcomings. While the central bank's latest decision may have some temporary or marginal positive impact on the economy, supply chain issues for several key industries remain unsolved.